So there has been a lot going on between Diddy, Meek Mill, and DJ Academics these last few days. Um, I know the news came out a few days ago. It's getting close to a week now. DJ Academics uh, dropped a bombshell online to where he was reading through some of the things that were going on with this whole Diddy situation. A lot of y'all know he went through, a he had a settlement with Cassie probably a few months ago over some other allegations that were uh, that were brought up against him. And now he's got even more allegations that are going on that are bringing to light some of the things that happened in his past with different artists, uh, namely Usher, I think, was brought up during this during this drama and also Meek Mill. And that's kind of what started the whole the whole beef between Meek Mill and DJ Academics. So this was the live stream that DJ Academics actually found out and discovered that Meek Mill was mentioned in this court document. And I want to I want to rewind it and kind of show you guys <laughs> the moment to where he found out about what was going on with with Meek Mill. And again, I don't know if this is all speculation. It hasn't been proven, which is probably one of the reasons why <laughs> I'm not as quick to cover it. But y'all can see for yourselves and let me know what you think. Here's academics reaction sexual to activity. It. OK, now. OK, great. Um, oh, Hold on. I've got it on super speed. Let's, there we go. So, yeah, let's uh, let me see what's going on here. Mr. Jones was in Mr. Combs house located in Miami. Uh, he was intoxicated. <laughs> Yo, chat. I did not say I did not say it was me. Y'all niggas is tweaking. So at first, if you watched if you watched it live and you watched Ac academics reaction, he didn't know. Well, it, apparently he didn't know what was going on with the situation. He's like a lot of people in the chat were saying, oh, it's Meek Mill. It's Meek Mill. This is about Meek Mill. And he's like, nah, nah, it's not Meek, Meek Mill. I don't think he's. A, Somebody said scroll back. He said Meek name. It did not say Meek Mill's name. He did not. It, it did not say Meek Mill name. It's crazy. Wait. Oh, oh, hold up. Never mind. Wait, what the fuck? I forgot. Look. Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper five. That's redacted. Look, five. He's a Philadelphia rapper who dated oh, Nicki Minaj. Oh man, dang! Look at his face. Yeah, he, DJ Academics knew it was over there, and that's where the whole war started. So anyway, a couple of other news platforms got wind of this, and then of course, I mean things blew up. They were posting Meek Mill on twitter they were posting academics reaction to this on twitter and uh i want to go over to hip hop dx because they talked about it and actually showed this clip on their video too so y'all check this one out let me make sure i don't have it sped up here we go gay sex allegations hey what's up i'm a dub and check this out so earlier this week rodney little rod jones a producer who worked on diddy's the love album off the grid accused him of sexual harassment as well as drugging and threatening him over the course of a year the legal paperwork has since been circulating online with one note in particular generating tons of attention mr combs informed mr jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper r&b singer and stevie j though the which i mean First of all, who cares? I mean, I don't care about this. The only reason I'm even remotely interested in this is because one, it has to do with the music industry. And two, this is now a federal, this, this is a federal case. And there's a lot more that's coming out about what happened with Diddy. And they're wondering if maybe Cassie is going to be called back. We don't know what happened with their entire settlement so we don't know if she's going to be able to even talk during this case so there's a lot more artists and a lot more people in the industry that are being pulled and sucked into this federal case that's being brought up against diddy so it's going to be interesting to see because as this goes along unless we see some sort of settlement which i don't even know if that's an option in this case uh a, a lot more of this information is going to be brought to light Two anyway. names were concealed. Footnotes attached to each suggested the lawsuit refers to Meek Mill and Usher, given their respective descriptions. He is a Dang, dead. and they're saying Usher's in there too? W oh, rapper geez. who dated Nicki Minaj, and he performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. On Wednesday, February 28th, Meek Mill reshared a clip of Academics' live reaction to the above details and wrote, The way you coming on the sick now. I can't wait to meet academics. They know I drop tomorrow. This day damage control, this net getting too weird. Bitch. Yeah, so Meek Mill, as a lot of y'all know, went to Twitter, which is, I mean, come on, man. It's just so strange to me. Not only the, 
these adult dudes are beefing online, which is just it's just weird in the first place. But the first place Meek Mill goes is to Twitter and reacts to it. And he put out a whole bunch, whole bunch of tweets, which we're going to we're going to look at in a minute. It's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I don't know. What would y'all do? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat if something like this were to happen to you. Would you even respond? Would you even care? Um, I think it is a serious thing because his name's being brought up in these legal documents and something that's possibly going to have an effect on him and his career because of the industries. And in. I mean, that's something that's we just have to be realistic about. That's something that could possibly affect him, especially with the persona that he has. So anyway, let's keep it moving. See what they say. Ain't going to play no games with me. They trying to do damage control. The same thing. They almost tricked y'all with little baby. Academics and alcoholic fully powered by the white man. Who you think posting that on every website? They be so mad. They can't stop his few groups. LOL. Get me his Addy. I'm going to shoot a full production off. music video in front of his house. LOL. Seriously, get me that one in NJ. He's an alcoholic with no life talking to kids on a computer. Normal kids watch Kai Sinat, Aiden Ross, Wallow Gilly. You a sick old black man with no life achievements trying to destroy all right so i'm not the biggest academics fan i honestly haven't watched any of his content i've seen him on other uh, men-centric platforms a few times but when it comes to this situation i haven't watched academics what i do know is he got a pretty big contract from rumble and he's been streaming over there he's doing well very well for himself and there's a lot of people who follow him so for meek mill to say um uh, <laughs> Normal kids watch Kai. I think a lot of people would argue with that. Define normal. Uh, shout out to shout out to Kai though. Aiden, Wallow, and Gilly. Uh, you're a sick old black man with no life achievements, trying to destroy black men because of your envy as us men. What? I don't see it. And y'all can see. I actually let me see. I have Meek Mill's Twitter pulled up too. So it all started on February 28th. And you could see he just goes on and on and on and on February 28th, just going crazy about this whole thing. And it's interesting because I mean, in academics defense, all he did was read the document. All he did was read the document. He didn't even say, oh, Meek Mill, this is what this is what you're doing. I see you out here doing this. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. Because you envy us as men. Shifting his focus away from the media personality, he made it clear that the claims about him and Diddy are untrue while elaborating on his lifestyle. I'm from Philly. I don't do coke or freaky ass Molly. Nobody won't even offer me coke because I'm that heavy. No man uh. or what would ever approach me about gay activity and the whole place don't get flipped. Woke up seeing this on every vlog, but they know I'm coming, LOL. That's why I always come around all these industry with my real friends. You never catch me around anybody from the industry alone. You can't even hold Okay. Hold a combo without my dog stepping in the room. It's been that way. I can't wait till y'all find out I'm the illest in this ish. It's going to be interesting because of this last part. He said, I can't wait to find out. I can't wait till y'all find out I'm the illest. It'll be interesting to see what happens because if this case moves forward at some time, at some point, it's possible Meek Mill and uh, Usher will have to testify. Yeah, if the, I don't know if there's an option for this to go to trial but they may have to speak on this even further. So I don't know if Meek has representation yet. A lot of these rappers, they just, they do a lot of stuff on their own. I don't even know if he should even be speaking on this, honestly. To me, it's weird that he would even respond, uh, especially when it's based off of legal documents. Good. LOL. He then shared a snippet from his upcoming EP, Ethanism, with the caption, I'm from people die for playing with the man's name. In conclusion, he wrote, the two things they say, we snitching or we gay. We generating hundreds of millions for music. It's not a coincidence we all gay and snitches. Yeah, but who cares? That's my point. If you're doing all that, who cares? I get and I understand the image and you have to, when Meek Mill's case, he's trying to portray himself as a certain way. I mean, as that, you know, that hood dude from the gutter type dude. He can't be a snitch, can't be gay. I don't know, man. When when are we going to change this narrative? I mean, who cares? I think even a lot of people that say who cares or might be a fan of him that care. I don't think they would. I don't even think it matters that much to them. So why are you going to take the time to respond? And if people know you, they know what you're about. And this whole persona that you put on is what it is. Then why? I don't I don't get it. They are powering this stuff even if it's fake. 
The goal is to disrupt the hip-hop community. I own this music that dropped tomorrow. Play it. According to a trigger warning that prefaces the court documents, the new lawsuit filed against Diddy contains highly graphic information of a sexual nature, including sexual assault. Additionally, there are graphic images of the aftermath of a shooting, Crazy. redacted images of sexual intercourse, redacted images of minors, sex workers, and prostitutes, details of sex trafficking, the illegal distribution of guns and drugs. Diddy has denied all these... Yeah, so Diddy's denying everything that's going on in in this case it'll be interesting again to see what happens with it moving forward because i mean there's a lot of information uh, in these documents and shout out to the lead attorney too the lead attorney has been one of the lawyers on youtube ha who has started to cover this he put did a live stream yesterday i believe and i watched some of the content from him i'm going to continue to watch that as it progresses because i know he's going to want to cover it anyway uh yeah i know some of y'all are saying it matters i get that I get that it matters to his community, but from a fan base standpoint, I mean, they were saying the same thing about Gunna. I was saying the same thing about Gunna. I'm in Atlanta. I'm like, ah, oh, he's, he snitched. It's not going to be the same. And y'all see, he went on and toured and he almost built an entire uh, different fan base based off of his, this story that he came up with. So. I get it. It matters in certain circles, but overall, when it comes to your career, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the documents are crazy. I see y'all saying that. Anyway, I think that's enough of that video for now. So y'all can see, and I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen some of the responses. It all started here on February 28th when Meek Mills like responded to World Star Hip Hop, which posted this clip of DJ Academics, which we just saw him Yo, reacting Meek. to the whole situation. We were playing around with that Michael Rubin shit. But if you don't, you've been tweeting about every, nigga, you've been tweeting about everything on planet Earth. If you don't get a Twitter rant saying you about to get Lil Rod killed, you about to shoot up his block, blow his mama's house up. Dang, this right nigga now. is saying that you and Diddy were fornicating. Yeah, it's rough. And then Meek Mill responds. He's like, the way you dudes, we're going to say dudes. Y'all already saw this one. He said, I can't wait to eat meat academics. They know I drop tomorrow. This is their damage control. This net's getting too weird. I mean, the court documents are there, though. I don't again. I don't get what his argument is, what Meek Mill's argument is. It's in official court documents. We're just reading the documents. So if you want to say they're not true, say they're not true and move on. But and I don't know. I'm not getting it. And then, of course, DJ academics. They were going back and forth. I'm not going to read all the tweets. If y'all want to go and read these on your own and figure out when this all started, it started on February 8th. So you can go back to DJ Academics and Meek Mill's Twitter profiles and see exactly where everything started and how it went down. But now Meek Mill, it looks like he's retaliating. And we've got one more video we're going to check out and then we're going to keep it moving because he's now hired. It looks like he's hiring. <laughs> investigators to go after dj academics money which to me is again this this whole feud is is crazy and it seems kind of childish in my opinion dj academics has a bigger platform than meat mill i mean let's keep it real i think this is a fight that meat mill doesn't want to doesn't want to get into because in most cases and especially in this one, DJ Academics is going to win because he has a way, way bigger platform than Meek Mill ever could. Uh, but y'all listen to a little part of this. Let's see what you're saying. Then the tweet academics is an alcoholic fully powered by the white we man. We think posting that on every website. They be so mad they can't stop us. It's a few groups. Meek then goes on to say it's out of three groups that's doing these types of campaigns. But I find out we going to take on the war for trying to stop my family's wealth. Something never seen before will happen in the industry. Even if I got to risk my life for it, I'm the average move him out the way type thing. Now y'all see how bad they want to stop you when you drop independent music that's going to get played regardless and make millions. A whole campaign. So it looks like he's saying that DJ Academics and everybody who's covering this topic is coming at his family's livelihood and their wealth. I mean, not really. Not really. I don't think it doesn't seem like. I just I don't get it, man. To me, it doesn't seem like this is an attack on Meek Mill. We're just saying, hey, Meek Mill, you're putting on this whole persona. You've been 
apparently lying about who you are again i don't care about what he does in private but if you're saying you're not involved in some of the things that went down and these allegations are coming out unfortunately if it goes down to it you may have to end up testifying but in this case i would let diddy handle it and if you got to go to court you got to do your thing but i don't think i don't know y'all let me know what you think in the chat do you think people really care about this or are we just checking it out because of the drama I the day before tripping. i drop i'll be crushing through this internet shit too easy not only that but meek also responded to an academics tweet last week saying luke i have 30k can you give me a real file on this guy? Shout out to my guy Yak for sending this over to me. Now, a lot of people skip by those claims by Meek, Crazy. but Meek was actually being serious. So serious that he has gone on to hire yeah, a private investigator Academics. to invest. Academics calls him Freak Mill now.